I'm so happy to see you today. What am I doing? I'm plucking all these weeds that have grown around my plant. This is one way to take care of plants so it'll grow healthy because weeds take the nourishment which is supposed to be for the plant alone. You know as they say, keep the right things and throw the wrong ones. Which reminds me of what Paul taught the Philippi church. Oh, oh, would you like to hear it? Yes? How about we pray first? Lord God, our gracious King, thank you for this day. Thank you for our teachers. Lord, we pray that we will learn and enjoy this day and we love to worship you and sing praises to you. This we pray in your mighty name, Lord, amen. Stand up with me and let's worship God together.
Good morning, children. Welcome to Mornings with Kuya Al. And today we have a very special guest. He will share his testimony. And you know, he's very famous. He is uh, the main writers of the letters in the Bible. Do you have any idea who is this? Yes, I'm sure you have. And now sharing his testimony, we have Welcome everyone, a big hand for Apostle Paul! Thank you so much, Al. Thank you for having me in your show. For your children, hope you're doing well. My brothers, be full of joy in the Lord. It is no trouble for me to write the same things to you again. And it will help you to be ready. Be careful of those who do evil. They are like dogs. They demand to cut the bodies. But we are the ones who are truly circumcised. We worship God through His Spirit. We are proud to be in Christ Jesus. And we do not trust in ourselves or anything we can do. Even if I am able to trust in myself, still I do not. If anyone thinks that he has a reason to trust in himself, he should know that I have greater reason to believe in myself. I was circumcised eight days after my birth. I am from the people of Israel and the tribe of Benjamin. I am a Hebrew and my parents were Hebrews. The law of Moses was very important to me. That is why I became a Pharisee. I was so enthusiastic that I tried to hurt the church. No one could find fault with the way I obeyed the law of Moses. At one time, all these things were important to me, but now I think those things are worth nothing because of Christ. Not only those things, but I think that all things are worth nothing compared with the greatness of knowing Christ. Because of Christ, I have lost all of those things. And now, I know that all those things are worthless trash. This allows me to have Christ and to belong to Him. Now that I belong to Christ, I am right with God and this being right does not come from my following the law. It comes from God through faith. God uses my faith in Christ Jesus to make me right with Him. All I want is to know Christ and the power of His rising from death. I want to share in Christ's suffering and become like Him in His death. If I have those things, then I have hope that I myself will be raised from death. I do not mean that I am already as God wants me to be. I have not yet reached that goal, but I continue trying to reach, to reach it and make it mine. Christ wants me to do that. That is the reason Christ made me His. Brothers, I know that I have not yet reach that goal. But there is one thing I always do. I forget the things that are past. I try as hard as I can to reach the goal that is before me. I keep trying to reach the goal and get the prize. That prize is mine because God called me through Christ to the life above. All of us who have grown spiritually to be mature should think this way too. And if there are things you do not agree with, God will make them clear to you. But we should continue following the truth we already have. Brothers, all of you should try to follow my example and to copy those who leave the way we showed you. 
many people live like the enemies of the cross of Christ. I have often told you about them, and it makes me cry to tell you about them now. The way they live is leading them to destruction. Instead of serving God, they do whatever their bodies want. They do shameful things, and they are proud of it. They think only about earthly things, but our homeland is in heaven, and we are waiting for our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, to come from heaven. He will change our humble bodies and make them like His own glorious body, to rise and do this by His power. With that power, He is able to rule all things. Actually, that was part of Paul's letter to the Philippians. It is found in Philippians chapter 3, verses 1 to 21. Have you read a letter? Have you written a letter to someone? When you write a letter to someone, your intention is to build relationship with the person. You want to know if the person is doing well. Paul wrote a letter to his friends in Philippi. Is it near the Philippines? No, it is not. But do you know where it is? Anyway, he wrote a letter to his friends because he wants them to have the right knowledge about the saving work of Christ on the cross. He warns them not to receive such bad information. He shares with them all the achievements and learning he has even when he was still a child like you. When he received Jesus Christ as his Savior and Lord, he considers every learning as garbage or dung. Ooh, of the animal. Compared to knowing Jesus Christ. In school, in the internet, we learn a lot about many things. But knowing Jesus Christ is much better because we would learn how to live our lives that will honor the Lord. Are you with me? Let us keep learning about Jesus Christ from the Bible so we could live for Him. Thank you very much, Apostle Paul, for being here. Children, I hope you learned something. Till next time, only here with Mornings with Kuya Al. Hello City Champs and welcome back for another activity. And the title for today's activity is Cup of Knowledge. Our activity will remind us every day to keep the right information and reject the wrong ones. Are you ready City Champs? Let's get started! You're going to need colored papers, Two empty cups, stickers, coloring materials, scissors or a cutter, and a tape.
And there you have it, city champs, the cup of knowledge. This will help you to keep the right information from the Bible. I hope you had so much fun today, city champs, and we'll see you again in our next activity. Oh yeah, it's time for our memory verse. And our memory verse is from Psalm chapter 27, verse 1. And it says, The Lord is my light, the one who saves me. So why should I fear anyone? The Lord protects my life. So why should I be afraid? Good job, city champs! And now, let's rewind. And our memory verse is from Psalm chapter 27, verse 1. And it says, The Lord is my light, the one who saves me. So why should I fear anyone? The Lord protects my life. So why should I be afraid? I enjoyed it and sure you did too. In today's word, keep the right things and throw the wrong ones. Some people think they are doing what's right, but what they're doing will really put them in trouble or even kill them. That's how I understood what it says in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. So, what we have to do is to know the right things to do, which the Bible can help us with that. Better in your Bible so you can keep the truth and throw away those lies. Come on, friends, pray with me. Lord, we receive your word like a seed sown in our hearts. Father, help us take away all unnecessary and unhealthy thoughts and keep all your truth in our hearts. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go, to all my friends who are 8 to 13 years old, we have pre-teens Zoom service for you later at 2 p.m. Message us for details. And to the rest of you guys, we'll see you again next week. Bye for now!